Potato Chip Picker here. Um, I just found two more, um, actually a Guitar Hero and a Rock Band Guitar. Um, those were $5.99 each, and I could easily get $25 to $30 for those a piece. Um, I also got, for $0.49, cent, I got a little Radio Shack uh, 67 Mustang. Um, it's an RC car. It was missing the uh, controller, but for $0.49, cent, I wasn't going to pass up a 67 Stein. Um, also, I found a old Milton Bradley um, board game called Pac-Man uh, for a buck ninety-nine. Those things, um, if complete, go from twenty to thirty bucks. And I just uh, checked it out, and it looks complete. I didn't count all the marbles, but um, for the most part, it was complete, and the marbles are replaceable. So um, I also got for two ninety-nine. I got um, a Mission Advanced Battleship game, and um, those go for about 15 to 20 bucks. Uh, people like those games. They're um, electronic battleship games, which people like. And um, with the advanced mission ones, they uh, they have little compartments where you can store all your pieces and the whole board bolts down so you can keep everything nice and tidy. So I'm pretty sure that's the reason why those go for so much because people like those and it's easy storage and you're not going to lose all your pieces on those. So um, I picked up that too. Um, also, for buck ninety-nine, I picked up a Game Boy Advance game, uh, Yoshi's Island. Um, any video games you see that have either Yoshi or Super Mario or Luigi, um, you might want to look up the value on those. Um, because Game Boy Advance, who who really wants to play a Game Boy Advance game uh, nowadays? But there is either collectability or um, the Mario name itself um, are still a very fun game, no matter what the graphics are and all that stuff. So um, that was a buck ninety-nine, and it looks like they're going for about twelve bucks. So without the packaging, so that was a nice little find, and I like the smalls because you could just throw it in an envelope and pop it in your mailbox. So even if you were uh, just selling four or five games a day, um, say 10 bucks a pop, that, that's 50 bucks in your pocket, and you could just pop them in your mailbox, and you don't even have to leave your house. So um, that's another reason I love the small. So uh, anyway, I'm going to try to make a video at home. It's kind of hard with my five-year-old um, running around crazy over there, but I will try to get a video on this um, to show you what I actually did find today. Um, so I'll get back to you. Talk to you later.